Good morning, grade eight students. Let's continue the lesson. The glimpses of the past. Yesterday we have discussed about the introduction. Hope you enjoyed the song of great legendary singer Lata Mangeshkar, which inspired us very much. Even today we'll be singing the song, and uh, we learn about the company's conquest, seventeen fifty seven and eighteen forty nine. Uh, the British rule at the time of uh, 1765 and 1836. Okay, how they came for? First of all, they came for business here. They launched the business. They imposed taxes on farmers and they sent them to jail even, and heavy taxes imposed on us. But the goods which are imported from England, tax free, in such a manner, they have oppressed us, and now the. The, we can learn about the famous reformer Raja Ram Mohan Roy, 1772 and 1833. Here, Raja Ram Mohan Roy, a learned social reformer from Bengal, understood what was wrong with the country. He understood oh, what's going wrong, and then he called upon the people to feel proud of their ancient culture. He has given up a call. What is that? Our ancient culture is great. and we are capable of greater achievements we must first reform our society superstitions have been ruining us what are those superstitions as day we have discussed most probably the superstitions are such as uh, social evils untouchability and child marriage these superstitions we have to overcome and these are all ruining our country that he realized first he is the first person to realize and what he has done we have to give away these silly superstitions he pointed out that all religions preach the same thing what he said all religions buddhism jainism christianity hinduism or islam whatever it is everything he preached and pointed the meaning is same and what is the meaning love your neighbor or be peaceful these are the points what he pointed out at that time all religions preach the same thing he understood the importance of science and modern knowledge he is the first person at that time who understood the importance of the science and modern technology or the knowledge he started newspapers but the british stopped them in 1823 he started the newspapers it seems now as soon as we get up in the morning most of the elders they'll start reading the newspapers Drinking a cup of coffee, but when Raja Ram Mohan time, when he started newspapers, the British stopped them in eighteen twenty three. It seems he crossed the seas and went to England to see what made the British so powerful. He then adopted the middle path. When Raja Ram Mohan Roy crossed the seas and went to England and to see all these British, their power and all, and what he said to them is. he said that uh, we accept you as the rulers and you must accept us subjects what he said we acts we agree he agreed to accept the british as rulers but they must remember the responsibilities of rulers towards their subjects we have means give respect take respect and do a good uh, business there don't impose taxes on us and total tax free on you these all he spoke there now let's go to the next tiny topic or episode that is oppression the oppression here from 1765 to 1835 page number 4 of your textbook here what happened the british continue to oppress indians means prolonged cruelty or unjust means uh, unfair treatment continuous wrong treatment that is called here oppression in this oppression from 1765 to 1835 these british continued to oppress indians like anything in 1818 they passed a resolution it seems under which an indian could be jailed without trial see how silly it is means we can keep an indian in jail without trial no case nothing else no argument no trail at all in the courts the british officers in india drew huge salaries 
and also made fortunes in private business means huge profit and huge salaries as a result britain proposed while india uh, sorry while indian industries began to decline governor general bentick they wrote backs home about the starving cotton weavers bentick in the sense william bentick then the bones of the cotton weavers are bleaching the plains of india means here what no food starvation means no food lack of food with hunger total starvation the cotton weavers suffered a lot without food for them and their families in such a manner the british people oppressed us giving huge salaries for the british employees and also uh, fortune in their business because why the fortune in their business no taxes for the imported goods from england but here we have they are imposing more taxes that is one of the major reason okay now come to this uh, tiny episode of uh, dissatisfaction sixth one it is from 1835 to 56 here in this episode uh, the total episode uh, goes with education system so the education system indians were taught persian and sanskrit what they were taught persian and sanskrit in which year in 1835 by then a englishman named macaulay suggested a change so what he suggested for they that to not for the benefit of indians and all for their profit for their business improvement he suggested a change who macaulay that uh, they should teach english to us the britishers should teach the english for uh, natives through the english language native english that is called native english means native english means like uh, mother tongue how we speak then what happened this english education produced clerks to whom the british gave petty jobs under them incidentally it also produced a new generation of intellectuals because while learning the new language but it also produced a set of intellectuals they said that indians should learn english they insisted that they should improve their economic conditions and then convey their grievances to the british parliament so by 1856 the british had conquered the whole of india they cared little about the welfare of indians means they cared a bit what uh, they cared a little means indian kings and the ruler became puppets of british that's uh, two words to listen isn't it the people had lost all jobs and lands they felt the need to drive the white man out but what is the plan to do then they felt the need to drive out the white man and then the santals revolted in 1855 and killed many europeans now come to the seventh topic that is the sparks 1855 and 57 taxes continued to ruin the peasants it seems in bengal and then a bit of revolution the sparks came the santals who had lost their lands under new land rules became desperate like anything it seems so in 1855 they rose in rebellion and what happened against whom against europeans and their supporters alike what happened here the indian soldiers and the british army were also dissatisfied totally because they were poorly paid means less pay the british employees the british officers or british uh, clerks they used to take huge salaries and huge profits but here for us they used to pay very less salaries it seems they were sent to other countries sepoy mangal pandey attacked uh, the white and was hanged the great personality sepoy mangal pandey what happened he was uh, he attacked the white people it seems and was hanged later on thousands of other sepoys were also put in chains the brahmin soldiers came to know that their bullets had fat of cows and pigs the message was sent from village to village to get ready for the 
revolt. Then immediately the sepoys marched to Delhi and accepted Emperor Bahadur Shah as their head. So what happened immediately they need a, some leader to guide them. Because here Sepai Mangal Pandey attacked white people and he was no more. Means he was hanged. And not only him but also thousands of other sepoys were there. They were put in chains. Even the Brahmin soldiers who were there, their bullets were also ruined and wasted. So now we need some other personality. So the message was sent from village to village to get ready for revenge or we can say the revolt. Now the revolt, the uh, eighth episode, which is uh, in 1857. Then thousands of other sepoys also revolted and they were stripped of their uniforms even. Then there was a violent outbreak at Meerut. The sepoys marched to Delhi. And as they selected this Bahadur Shah as their head, means as their leader, they started shouting, Long live our employer, our emperor, long live our emperor, Bahadur Shah it seems. And these uh, rebellions from village to village, from one place to another, they spread wider it seems. Many landlords had lost their lands because of the British policies, new policies. The main uh, impact of this policy or agenda of the policy is we have to grab everything, the properties of the Indians. That's it. Whatever the policy may be. And they were sore. Totally they were in pain. And slowly they are getting this revolution into a peak level. The white man's rule must end. Yes, we are ready to help. These are the discussions going on among themselves. And now the last episode of the drama written by Sivaji Savant. The fight for freedom in 1857. Many former rulers like Begum Hazrat Mahal of Lucknow were bitter it seems. Means totally they were downhearted. The white man had taken away my kingdom. Why? Because the kingdom was taken away. By whom? By the Britishers. Then popular leaders like uh, Maulvi Ahmad Ahmadullah of Faizabad, what they have told is, rise brothers, rise. We can ruin them. We can ruin the British. Who said these words? Maulvi Ahmadullah of Faizabad, it seems. He has given a call. Rise brothers, rise. Now everyone are against to the foreigners, means the Britishers. The people rose everywhere in Bareilly, Kanpur and Ahmedabad, Allahabad, different areas. Allahabad, Ahmedabad, Kanpur, Lucknow, Bareilly, what not, all the places. All over the North India, what happened? The patriots pounced up, means they jumped, they pounced upon the British and fought pitched battles all over North India, it seems. At that time, Azimullah Khan told Tantya Tope. What he said to Tantya Tope, Azimullah Khan, we should have Peshwa Nana Sahib as our leader in this war of independence. He has given one more uh, personality, one more leader. Okay, Bahadur Shah is one of the leader, and now he is also one of the leaders. Peshwa Nana Sahib as our leader in this war of independence. Everyone, 80 years old, conversing also of Bihar, received a bullet in his wrist. Mother Ganga, this is my last offering to you, he said it seems. In such a manner, the theme of the war of independence happened. So, what are what is the reason of all this success? United we stand, divided we fall. That's it. Nothing else from this. Small episodes, tiny episode, all these episodes, what we are learning is, See, all of them are united, Britishers went away, isn't it? So in such case, means by the time they didn't go, but later on on the leadership of dynamic leadership of Mahatma Gandhiji, it went on and veteran freedom fighters joined him. Okay, but here, the whole North India came to one umbrella, isn't it? With one word, with one revolutionary slogan, rise brothers, rise, we can fight with the Britishers. With that slogan, everyone fought with the Britishers.
and even just now we have discussed 80 years uh, conversing also of Bihar what he said when the bullet struck him to the wrist Mother Ganga this is my last offering to you that is the sacrifice that is the sacrifice even the farmers imposed the tax they were kept in jails most of them were kingdoms were no more here we have discussed about uh, uh, Begum Hazrat Mahal of uh, Lucknow totally she was bitter because losing the kingdom several things happen then this fight of freedom occurred in 1857 with this we completed this melodrama written by Shivaji Savant and uh, picture courtesy by Brotish Biswas thank you and have a nice day